Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm going to show you how to install ROS2 Jazzy in around five minutes. And if you stay until the end, I'll show you how to have it in zero seconds. So let's go. First things first, you have to be sure that you have Ubuntu 24. So let's execute the following command. Okay, Ubuntu 24, perfect. Then what we're going to do is a series of commands that set up the environment so that we are able to execute this final command, which is to install ROS2 Jazzy. Okay, so let's execute first the locals, set up the locals. Say yes with Y. There you go. Now we're going to set up the universe and the repo essentially. Hit enter. And now we're going to install curl so that afterwards we can download these keys for ROS. There you go. Now we set up the repository, which is where we're going to download all the ROS2 files. Now we do a update and we install the ROS dev tools. Say yes. Great. And finally, we just install ROS2 Jazzy desktop. Say yes. Great, and now we have it. So now the only thing that is left is to check that everything's working. So for that, what we're going to do is always that you use ROS, you need to source, which basically set up all the variable in, in the systems so that it, ROS works. So there we go. I'll do it also in another terminal. And then what we're going to do is do the test of the talker and the listener, which is basically a very, very important and basic element of ROS, which are topics. So one is talker, which will be publishing hello world. And then another one, which is the listener, should be receiving what the talker is publishing. There you go. Fantastic. You can also see that if we stop, for example, we can do ROS2 topic list and ROS2 topic echo of chatter, which is which is basically the the topic that the channel of communication that we use here to communicate the hello world and the number. There you go. So fantastic. You have ROS2 Jazzy installed. But wait, there's more. What if you don't have time to do this? What if you want to test other versions or you want to learn more about ROS, use simulations and many, many other things? So you can use the construct. Give me one second. So in the construct, you just have to create a new project, which is basically a project, create, for example, a personal project, and you can select all the versions of ROS that we have. And there are, for example, here, Jazzy. You put a name, there you go. You can put an image, you can do it public and so on. Then let's run it. And that's it. You have a system that has ROS installed. How do we know it? We can execute the same example that we did. So let's execute this command, the talker in one side. and we execute the listener on the other. There 
Oops, sorry. There you go. And there you go. So basically, you didn't install anything. It's already installed for you. And you have many resources, courses, and a lot, a lot more. So check it out. See ya.